Henry Briggs, February 1561 to the 26th of January 1630, was an English mathematician notable for changing the original logarithms invented by John Napier into common base 10 logarithms, which are sometimes known as Briggsian logarithms in his honor. Briggs was a committed Puritan and an influential professor in his time. Topic: Personal life. Briggs was born at Warleywood, near Halifax, in Yorkshire, England. After studying Latin and Greek at a local grammar school, he entered St John's College, Cambridge, in 1577, and graduated in 1581. In 1588, he was elected a Fellow of St John's. In 1592 he was made reader of the physical lecture founded by Thomas Lineker, he would also read some of the mathematical lectures as well. During this period, he took an interest in navigation and astronomy, collaborating with Edward Wright. In 1596, he became first professor of geometry in the recently founded Gresham College, London, where he taught geometry, astronomy and navigation. He lectured there for nearly 23 years, and made Gresham College a centre of English mathematics, from which he would notably support the new ideas of Johannes Kepler. He was a friend of Christopher Hayden, the writer on astrology, though Briggs himself rejected astrology for religious reasons. At this time, Briggs obtained a copy of Mirifici Logarithmorum Canonis Descriptio, in which Napier introduced the idea of logarithms. It has also been suggested that he knew of the method outlined in Fundamentum Astronomia published by the Swiss clockmaker Joost Berge, through John D. Napier's formulation was awkward to work with, but the book fired Briggs' imagination. In his lectures at Gresham College, he proposed the idea of base 10 logarithms in which the logarithm of 10 would be 1, and soon afterwards he wrote to the inventor on the subject. Briggs was active in many areas, and his advice in astronomy, surveying, navigation, and other activities like mining was frequently sought. Briggs in 1619 invested in the London Company, and he had two sons, Henry, who later emigrated to Virginia, and Thomas, who remained in England. The lunar crater Briggs is named in his honour. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematical contribution In 1616 Briggs visited Napier at Edinburgh in order to discuss the suggested change to Napier's logarithms. The following year he again visited for a similar purpose. During these conferences the alteration proposed by Briggs was agreed upon, and on his return from his second visit to Edinburgh, in 1617, he published the first Kiliad of his logarithms. In 1619 he was appointed civilian professor of geometry at Oxford, and resigned his professorship of Gresham College in July 1620. Soon after his settlement at Oxford he was incorporated Master of Arts. In 1622 he published a small tract on the Northwest Passage to the South Seas, through the continent of Virginia and Hudson Bay. The tract is notorious today as the origin of the cartographic myth of California as an island, in it Briggs stated he had seen a map that had been brought from Holland that showed California Island. Briggs' tract was republished three years later 1625 in P. V. R. Chaz His Pilgrimage Vol. 3, p. 848. In 1624 his Arithmetica Logarithmica, in folio, a work containing the logarithms of 30,000 natural numbers to 14 decimal places 1 minus 20,000 and 90,000 1 to 100,000. 
This table was later extended by Adrian V. L. A. C. Q., but to 10 places, and by Alexander John Thompson to 20 places in 1952. Briggs was one of the first to use finite difference methods to compute tables of functions. He also completed a table of logarithmic sines and tangents for the hundredth part of every degree to 14 decimal places, with a table of natural sines to 15 places, and the tangents and secants for the same to 10 places, all of which were printed at Gouda in 1631 and published in 1633 under the title of Trigonometria Britannica. This work was probably a successor to his 1617 Logarithmorum Chilius Prima, the first thousand logarithms, which gave a brief account of logarithms and a long table of the first 1,000 integers calculated to the 14th decimal place. Briggs discovered, in a somewhat concealed form and without proof, the binomial theorem. English translations of Briggs's Arithmetica and the first part of his Trigonometria Britannica are available on the web. Briggs was buried in the chapel of Merton College, Oxford. Dr. Smith, in his Lives of the Gresham Professors, characterizes him as a man of great probity, a condemner of riches, and contented with his own station, preferring a studious retirement to all the splendid circumstances of life. Topic. Bibliography A table to find the height of the pole, the magnetical declination being given London, 1602, 4-2. Tables for the improvement of navigation. Printed in the second edition of Edward Wright's treatise entitled Certain Errors in Navigation Detected and Corrected London, 1610, 4-2. A description of an instrumental table to find the part proportional, devised by Mr. Edward Wright, London, 1616 and 1618, 12 RNO. Logarithmorum Chilius Prima, London, 1617, 8 Vo. Http colon slash slash locomat dot loria dot fr contains a reconstruction of this table. Lucubrationes et annotationes in opera posthuma J. Napari, Edinburgh, 1619, 4 to Euclidus Elementorum v. Libri Prioris, London, 1620, folio. A treatise on the Northwest Passage to the South Sea, London, 1622, 4 to reprinted in Samuel Purchase's Pilgrims, Volume E. p. 852. Arithmetica Logarithmica, London, 1624, folio, http colon slash slash locomat dot loria dot fr contains a reconstruction of this table. Trigonometria Britannica, Gade, 1633, folio, http colon slash slash locomat dot loria dot fr contains a reconstruction of this table. Two letters to Archbishop James Usher. Mathematica ab antiques minus cognita, some other works, as his commentaries on the geometry of Peter Ramus, and remarks on the treatise of Longomontanus respecting the quadrature of the circle have not been published. Topic. See also. Cordic algorithm